Should we tell our chronically ill patients that they're going to die? Should we open the discussion about this when we know death is near? What do you think? I'm going to ask somebody else. Hold on just a second. Yes, sir, at the back. You think yes. I'm going to stop you. I'm going to come back to you. Who else thinks yes? I think Got a few no. hands. Who thinks no? Be brave now. Raise your hand. You think no. Who else thinks no? You think no. I'm sorry? Family member? Is that what you said? Okay. I'm going to go back to the gentleman here. Why yes? If we've exhausted all of our, our treatment options and we're at that point where we really have nothing else left, they are going to die unless we have a miracle or supernatural intervention. And, you know, if we know that's going to happen, then you're really talking to them not about other treatment options that they may consider, but about palliative care, pain control, um, the end. Now, let's develop the idea why do family members get the privilege of knowing that someone's going out into eternity rather than the actual person who's going out into eternity. Why does this work for you that way? Help me understand that better. The patient's already dying. Let me just make sure everyone's understanding. You said that the patient's already dying. So they're not, they're not the one who needs to understand that death is imminent. The family needs to be prepared. Is that what you said? Help me develop that some more. I don't believe that. Keep going. Huh? You've got to convince me. You've got to help me here. The family members are like, they are still healthy, but they can accept the, the bad news. But the other person on the other hand is ill already. So the bad news will make the situation of life. You make upset the patient by telling them that they're going to die. I couldn't agree more. I do agree with you that that can be dangerous. And I have been in situations in which we chose not to tell a patient. But I want you to know that the doctor up here standing in front of you who has treated many patients dying of chronic diseases, where they did die, almost everyone, I told them that they were preparing to die. And I told them in words like this. Listen carefully. Mr. Smith, you know we've worked a long hard on this illness. He knows that. He's been the one who's having to come to my office and take all these medicines and do all this horrible radiation and stuff. You know we work really hard on this, and I appreciate both your partnership with me and your own willingness to go through all this. Our results have not been as good as either you or I would like. I'm kind of discouraged today. What about you? You give them a chance to say something. What do you think's next? Now, have I told the patient he was going to die? I basically did. The question is a, a loaded one, right? I said, what do you think's next? What's next for you? You know, I want you to know something, Mr. Smith. I am here for you no matter what. And I'm here for you and your family. What do you want at this point? What, do you, what can I do for you? You are just simply laying it open for the discussion to happen. You're giving Mr. Smith the opportunity to say, I think I'm going to die. And if he says that, you say, by George, you're right, you're going to die. It's probably going to be next week. <laughs> of course not. You never tell a patient when they're going to die because you never know. You may think you know, but I've been very surprised many times. So you say, well, Mr. Smith, I understand. How do you feel that way? I mean, that really makes sense to me too. Now, have I told them they're going to die? I simply agreed with what they said. You see what I'm doing? 
Now that's called empathy. That's called walking them through the obvious. That's helping them prepare for death. Then I ask the question, Mr. Smith, what do you think? Do you think you're ready to face what's next? I didn't use the word death. I didn't use the word eternity. That's, that's religious. That's church talk. I can talk church talk, but I said, do you think you're ready to face what's next? Well, Dr. Crane, I don't know. I just don't know. I'm so scared. I don't know what to do right now. I wish, I wish somebody could help me. Well, Mr. Smith, I'm here to help you. Do you have a pastor that you trust? <laughs> That's a two-part question. Do you have a pastor that you trust? Because if they have a pastor who's never talked to them and they've never talked, that's not a good fit. And you got to deal with that before you bring that person in. Do you have a pastor or someone who can help you spiritually that you trust? That's where you as the physician start gluing together the opportunities for them to prepare for death without you having to take your time in the office to do it or the full responsibility. Now, if the opportunity is right there before you and you can help them and walk them through a conversion experience and a salvation prayer, great. I believe that God chooses us and I believe that He gives us choice. It's an amazing dichotomy that makes no scientific sense, but I believe both are equally true. And so in the scheme of this, this Mr. Smith is being drawn to the kingdom of God through this medical illness and you are simply the, the navigator of the murky waters for him. You're simply pointing him to the way, to the light. See it that way, and you don't have to get tangled up with the yes or no part of this question. See? Now, I've just given you my philosophy. I respect you totally if you don't agree with me. I have a feeling that most of your professors in Ukraine are telling you no. You should never tell a patient they're going to die. It may destroy them. It may cause them to die. It may upset them. It may condition them worse. You know, tell the family. I don't agree with them. So this is a very good entry. Uh, to what medicine's all about. Full of controversy, no good question, no good answers. That's, that's the way you're going to live the rest of your life. Not a lot of good answers. In conclusion, strive for excellence. Nobody likes a sloppy and careless doctor. Be the very best professional that you can. Show empathy, show compassion. Get down at the patient's level. Talk to them as your respectful equal. Help them to understand you are there for them and be what you would want if you were the one in their shoes. Become a partner against disease, help them find meaning by openly and honestly discussing God in a real and legitimate way. Don't preach at your patients. Thank you for being here. Thank you that you care. I'm proud of every one of you. I've enjoyed talking with several of you out in the hall today and, and tonight, and I'm, I'm happy to speak with any, any others of you who would like some time with me. Have a good meal. What's next, Rusty? Is it photographs? Is that?